friends, welcome back to our Transatlantic Cruise series. This video actually marks the last of our cruise episodes, and we want to thank you so, so much for following along. We really hope you've been enjoying these videos. If you have, please be sure to share the love by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. In today's episode, we're going to take you with us as we spend a full typical day at sea. After almost two whole weeks on this ship with eight days at sea, it's safe to say we've built ourselves a little routine. We'll show you what activities there are on board, what our meal times look like, how we structure our day, and make sure you stay until the very end of this video because we're going to answer some interesting questions and give you our honest thoughts on what a transatlantic cruise is really like. These are things that I would have liked to know before. Good morning, beautiful ocean. I think I can see land in the distance and I believe that might be Canada. It must be Canada. So that's where we are now. And those are all the places we've been. It's pretty amazing. Thank you, my honey. Got the daily planner. Nice. Every single morning when we wake up and have our coffee, Ludwig looks through our planner for the day. Basically this here tells us what the temperature is, what kind of weather we're going to have, any important news we need to know, and it also has a timetable of all of our activities. And it's Ludwig's favourite part of the day. So every night they show a movie out on the deck where the pools are, but for the past three or four days it's been like four degrees outside and raining and it's been pretty rough seas so the pools have been overflowing and there's been water everywhere they've still been showing the movies but no one's been watching tonight is the first night that i actually think someone might be watching because it's going to be 15 degrees and sunny it's pretty fun to have a little look at what's on each day it tells you about the entertainment things to do quick disclaimer in the last video, I did mention we have blocked noses due to cold plunging like Wim Hof in Iceland the other day. Today, the blocked noses unfortunately are still lingering, as we were not very responsible and went out into the cold wind in Prince Christian Sound because it got way too exciting with the icebergs everywhere. So bear with us again, the blocked noses are here for this video too. But I know, I know, we sound very sexy. You can go to a seminar about Chinese herbal remedies. Ludwig, you can get a hair consultation. Complimentary. I can do water aerobics. You can. Adult table tennis competition, Zumba dance class, watercolor painting class, morning quiz. There are also a bunch of fitness classes that do cost additional, but they are there if you need them. We've decided to start off our morning today by jumping in the hot tub and nice little recommendation here if you want to come to the hot tub when nobody else is here in any hot tubs the morning is the best time to come when everyone's still sleeping in getting their coffees and having breakfast what's so nice about being in the hot tub on this boat in particular is that the air is so cold and crisp and then the hot tub is so warm and cozy like it just makes you appreciate the hot tub so much more rather than if you're on say a caribbean cruise where it's just warm and sunny all day long i just love this right now such a nice way to start the day. Of course, after a coffee. Coffee is absolute number one the priority of waking up in the morning, isn't it, Ludi? <laughs> Off to breakfast. So when we first began this cruise, we were up at 6 a.m. in the morning, having a quick coffee and off to the gym. As the days have gone by and our days at sea have increased, we've started to prioritize sleep-ins just that little bit more. We've been getting up, having a coffee, then going to the main dining room for breakfast and then sort of late morning going to the gym. That is a little bit of a busier time to go to the gym, I must say, but it gives us that opportunity to get that little bit more sleep while we're on this beautiful holiday at sea. Choice of breakfast on the ship was the buffet or the main dining room, usually on sea days or late port days. You could also opt to get room service breakfast, but there was an additional fee for this. Plus, we enjoyed getting out and about early in the morning and walking somewhere. Breakfast usually looked exactly the same for Ludwig every single morning, guaranteed. Eggs Benedict without ham, 
extra hollandaise sauce, and a serving of French toast. I would tend to try different things each morning just to get some variety. Occasionally as well, we'd opt for a healthy fruit bottle. And of course, I would enjoy usually my second cup of coffee for the day. Sometimes third. Ping Pong Kong, is that on the cards for today? It might be. Depends on what time it is, let's go check. Ludwig is not mucking around. He's ready to roll. <laughs> Where did he go? He's over there. I'm wearing my sportiest outfit so I can be aerodynamic. Day 13. Not mucking around. Group B, we have Group B. What just happened? Won my first fight, first game. Oh. Competition is looking fierce. It's getting heated. It's getting heated. Oh. Did you tell them what the uh, prize was? The medal. Not just a medal, but a gold medal. That's right. You've got to win this, honey. Mm -hmm. You got this. All right, Ludwig's second game. Let's go, honey. Looking pretty good, looking pretty even. This lady's pretty darn good. Won the second game. Ludwig! Ah, yes. Ludwig's up again. Oh, Ludwig's up against the tough I guy. <laughs> Ludwig is officially up against the reigning champion. No need. No, okay. no need to warm up, they say. Straight into things. Also, Ludwig, so you can give him. Ah. Yeah. 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 We have yes tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. And I'm gonna train now, okay? Through this game. Alright, breakfast number two. Alright, it's gym time and that means It's pre-workout time. Every morning, without a doubt, Ludwig will ask, do I want some pre? And I respond with, do you want half a scoop? No! I want to have coffee and that is about all the caffeine I need. <laughs> Ew, who does that? It's the only way to do it. It's gym time! Also, you can't smell it through this camera, but we're pretty smelly. This is about the third time I've worn this workout gear and I don't even want to know how many times Ludwig's worn his workout gear. Twice. This one less than me. A day. <laughs> For a week. The thing is, is that laundry costs so much here on the boat, which is totally to be expected. We, we definitely didn't think it was going to be cheap. But we did it once, and I'm not paying for laundry again. Let's go back to our room. Laundry bag was on the ground. Open it up. Socks are even paired together. One of my socks is stapled to the bag. Look at that. Oh, I got undies again. <laughs> that cost us 35 buckaroos. Also, this cruise trip is right in the middle of my marathon training. I have a marathon at the end of October. Just because I'm on a cruise doesn't mean I have a pause in my training. Luckily, these at sea days allow a lot of flexibility and time to keep doing that. Sometimes I'll even go as far as going twice a day to the gym. So it's definitely a great way to keep fit. As well as all these table tennis competitions and Zumba dance classes and all sorts of things going on around the ship. Being on a transatlantic cruise is definitely easy to keep fit, that's for sure. It's also nice to keep up a regular gym workout as well so that you remain hungry for all of the meals to come. I'm already excited for cake at dinner. Yeah. The best dessert I've had so far cookie. is a warm cookie with ice cream or the apple pie with ice cream. No, the chocolate cake at Azumi. Ah, uh, the chocolate cake at Azumi. Mm -hmm. mm. Here we go. Sounds good.
done and dusted, an extra hard workout, walking on the treadmill for half an hour, whilst Ludwig in the meantime did a very hefty chest press. Enjoy the view of that delightful chest press. <laughs> I'm very excited because this is the most anticipated activity that I've had on my list so far, and that is ice skating. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Scandinavian turtle. No concussions. I reckon that's a great success. Now I'm a tummy rumbling. Lunch, main dining room. Let's go. Apple blossom pie. Well, that is a prime view. We got seated by the table, which happens very rarely. And it just so happens that today is one of the waviest days. So we've got a pretty sweet view. Today I went with the shrimp Caesar salad. What did you go for? Lentil soup. Lucky. Let's take a little look, show it off. Okay. I went for a seafood sandwich and a toasted brioche bun, some fries. And now for the best part, dessert. I may have mentioned this a couple of times, but I've been having dessert for breakfast, dessert for lunch, and dessert for dinner. Actually, that's a lie. We've been having about two or three desserts for dinner each. The desserts here are the best part, I'd say. Would you agree? I got too excited, I ripped straight into it, but it is a portion of the apple pie with ice cream. Ludwig asked for additional ice cream. Yum. All right, since leaving lunch, it feels like we've hit some bigger waves. <laughs> He's not even joking right now. <laughs> It's especially wobbly when you get to the hallway to your room. I don't know why, but it feels extra wobbly in here than the rest of the ship. <sighs> We've just had a delicious three course lunch meal in the dining room. Like every single day on the ship, three courses for breakfast, three courses for lunch and three courses for dinner. No less, no more. And after that extremely tough afternoon, next on my list is Spartopia. Indulge from head to toe for 75 glorious minutes with all of these full body treatments. Would you like to hear what they are? I would, because I'm not getting it, so I gotta live through you. Full body bamboo massage. Full body skin brushing. Foot and ankle massage. Head and arm massage. Hand. Hand and arm massage. Head and arm. Head, head and arm sounds pretty good too. I love a head massage. Who else loves going to the hairdresser purely for that like quick five minute head massage when they have the conditioner in? That's what I live for. My hairdresser never does that to me. Maybe that's a not a Swedish thing. Maybe it's because I'm my own hairdresser. Oh. So yeah, I've got 75 minutes doing spa treatments. What are you going to be doing? Nap. That sounds pretty nice too, you know. Yeah, I might go for a cup of coffee. I don't know, i got an open agenda. And then, um, it's going to be about time for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Tough life right now. It is, yeah. The ladies decided we're going to do a hot stone massage. She had a little feel of my muscles and said that that will be most beneficial to me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
All right, let's get undressed and get this massage done. I ended up having a hot stone massage. My first time having one of those. And I liked it. I wish I could do that every day, but I would be broke. Ludwig, I'm sorry you didn't get to do one. What did you do instead? I had a cup of coffee, went to the casino, and then I chilled. Nice. All right, it's about that time of the day. What time is it, Chloe? It's deluxe coffee time. It is deluxe coffee time. Deluxe coffee time. Ludwig gets a caramel macchiato and I get a latte. Sounds about right. It's getting wobblier as we go. This is getting ridiculous. Guessing there's a lot of people that are seasick today, but not this one. Not me! I'm quite surprised. I get really easily carsick, but no seasickness whatsoever. I'm pretty stoked about that. Because that would suck, because there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to ride it out until the sea goes calm. And what time is it, Liddy? It's bingo time. Cheers. Oof. It is hot. All right, everybody. At this time, you can start to play with your pull tabs. You can start opening your pull tabs. If you already purchased your package, you can get four more extra pull tabs. Okay, let's gonna clap our hands at once. Two times. Three times. Here we go, I'm gonna call the first number. First number is I, 22. In the I column is the number 22. Next number, G60. The number M39. And 309 is the number M39. I'm gonna go cash this bad boy in. We'll get four quarters for the coin pushing machine. That's a win in my book. Some of the other activities we've participated in throughout our two weeks on board have been rock climbing, mini golf, super mini golf, and we even went to an art auction. Mainly because it promised free flowing champagne and that it did. P.S. If you're interested in seeing more of this ship, make sure you head to our full ship tour video. Not one, but two water slides. They look pretty cold though, so I'm not going in. Well, we have just finished bingo. We were solid winners of another one dollar. One fuck. We have just over an hour before we head to the main dining room for some dinner. I think we attempt to get a thumbnail for this video. Then I suggest we go to one of the pubs to get a cocktail, listen to some live music. Pretty much every pub at this time has something going on, guitar, piano, singing. Then we hit up the dining room, we hit up another three course meal, then we hit up the magic show. That's what I'm thinking. What do you reckon, Ludie? Or we go to bed right now. Ludwig is always ah, excited to go to bed. That's so comfy. If you've never been on a cruise before, or in particular, a transatlantic cruise with a lot of rocking at sea, <sighs> what is it? The best sleep you've ever had. It rocks you to sleep like a little baby in a cot. It cradles me like a little bubba. You're just swaying to and fro, and all you can hear in the background is like little creaks and cracks of the ship. But Ludie, we do really need to get a thumbnail. Yes, yes. This is what we're looking at. Just a bunch of nothing. We spent around an hour trying to get the perfect thumbnail because as we have found, this is one of the most important parts of the YouTube game. We then proceed to edit it and hope for the best that it's good enough. What do you think? Did we do good? Looking beautiful. I'm always beautiful. Tonight is formal night, hence the outfit. The last one of the cruise. Then we're going to the main dining room. I'm gonna have twice chocolate cake. Twice mm. chocolate cake? Maybe thrice chocolate cake. Thrice chocolate cakes. <sighs> Last formal night. I'm wearing the exact same thing as I did for the first formal night, and so are you. Because yes. we don't have any other formal clothes. 
Also, something that is very cute. Yesterday we had these left in our room. Two little certificates. One made out to myself, one made out to Farrah Hoagland. <laughs> Which is Ludwig. Long story short, we might tell you about that one day. The Arctic Circle Crossing Certificate on Voyager of the Seas. This certificate is to commemorate and celebrate this special sailing. Copenhagen, Denmark, Christiansen, Norway, Akureyri and Reykjavik, Iceland. Quack a Quack a talk, Greenland, Prince Christian Sound, Greenland, and then eventually Boston, Massachusetts. Very cool touch. I'm gonna save this. Maybe we can frame it, put it on our wall. Wow, that right there, that right there is my fiance. I don't often see you in a fancy bow tie. Don't get used to it. We didn't get the drinks package, but it's nice to get a sneaky wine every now and then. Dinner time for us was usually spent in the main dining room. Occasionally we would head to the buffet, but we definitely preferred a sit-down dinner with a waiter as it felt more special. Usually as well, Ludwig and I would end up ordering the same exact thing for dinner. How boring, I know. Tonight we opted for a tomato and mozzarella salad to start, followed by a vegetarian lasagna which was absolutely delicious, topped off with a chocolate mud cake accompanied with ice cream. And true to his word, Ludwig of course went for the twice chocolate cake. During our cruise we opted for a three night specialty dining package, which for an additional fee allowed us to dine at a variety of specialty restaurants on three different occasions. We went to Giovanni's table once, the Italian restaurant, for Ludwig's birthday actually. We also went to Azumi twice, which is hands down the best Japanese meal we've ever tasted. We can highly, highly recommend that you eat here if heading on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Plus, with our dining package, we received a discount on bottles of wine. Woohoo! Slowly forcing Ludwig to enjoy wine with me. Most evenings after dinner, when the weather has been calm, we've been doing about a 15 to 20 minute stroll along the walking track out on the deck. We found this a great way to get some fresh air and it's always nice to digest all of the food after a three course dinner. This evening in particular, however, we had an exciting show to get to straight away. Oh, it's proving to be a little bit difficult to walk around. <laughs> it's so wobbly in here. Now we're in the big royal theatre, we're about to watch a comedy magician. How exciting is that? Lovely way to finish the night and it's only 8pm. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Rock. Good show. You are a brief man. Ah, uh, that man, I am. A man of very few words. That I am. Paul just came back from the show and there's a little tips and tricks for easy departure. Oh, we gotta do another face-to-face -face inspection. Non-US passport holders in the main dining room. Just like we did in uh, Iceland. They give you these little, <laughs> these little envelopes in case one of the crew members did something exceptional that was extra good. You can give these. Yes, very good. All right, I made a couple of notes for this day in the life at sea. Talk about laundry. Laundry. Laundry was very simple, but yet complicated. <laughs> 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 they give you this little bag and you jam in as much as you can in there. But you gotta count every single item that goes in and then you just chuck it on the bed. And two days later-ish it comes back, but an entire bag full of laundry was $35. So we just did that once for the whole two weeks, so. And now I'm turning my underwear inside out. Yes, because we refuse to pay that again because we are cheapskates. Also because I only own nine pair of undies. You need to buy some more undies. I do. That's a, that's a whole nother subject. Don't worry, I've been on about this. Meal times. In the little daily newsletter that we showed you earlier, it tells you all the different meal times at the dining room, the buffet, etc. Because that kind of stuff changes depending on what ports you're stopping off at, this little cruise planner thing. Usually the dining room is open just for dinner on a day you're out somewhere at port. And then it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner on a sea day. We've preferred to go there because it just feels nice sitting at a table having three courses and I like it when they're portioned up for you. When you go to a buffet, 
we tend to just pile on a whole bunch of unnecessary food, so it's kind of nice to... I like it when someone dishes up food for me. Yeah, are you wanting to sit down now? Okay. What is a sea day really like? You take this one, Lily. A sea day is very relaxing. Mm -hmm. It is a day full of not knowing what to do and enjoying it. One thing that surprised me quite a lot about this transatlantic cruise with so many sea days, I mean there's been I think seven or eight sea days. Rather than thinking it's quite boring, I've used this time to just force myself to relax because usually we're so on the go, back to back. Our holidays that we generally take are more tiring than regular life. Especially since we opted to not pay for the internet. Yeah. Like, our oh sea days here have just been hanging out. Like hanging out with each quality other. Quality time. Highly recommend not getting the internet package. Definitely improves quality time together. Yeah. Because you're not glued too to your phone. Yeah, too, too much. much. In a no, good way. I'm sick of you. No. Yes. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you've been hearing a lot of my silly jokes over the last two also, weeks. Also, be aware that the bathrooms, <laughs> they are not soundproof. <laughs> These are things that I would have liked to know before. Because the bed is right here. The bathroom is right here. So, just think about that. Yeah, the last couple of days, seas have been really rough. That's one thing when researching before booking a transatlantic cruise that I was quite concerned about is would I get seasickness because I had read a, a, quite a lot of reviews and comments that people experience quite rough seas compared to your classic Mediterranean or Caribbean cruise. Mm. You're going to experience a lot rougher seas so if you are prone to seasickness <clears throat> You may want to take that into consideration. I know quite a lot of people have had seasickness on this ship, especially today. It's rougher than it ever has been. Down at the medical center, they have a little basket right outside the door, just packed full of seasickness tablets. So that's how common it is. It's just expected that you're going to find some kind of seasickness during your journey. Luckily, neither of us have. Well, with the seasickness tablets as well, they're just free. If you have seasickness, you just go grab some pills. There you go. And they have spew bags all over the place. They in do. Case you need it. <laughs> Actually, we only just just noticed spew bags come out today as the seas are beginning to get really rough. It's pretty crazy. We were sitting in the dining room tonight and it was like, woo! It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. You're actually sliding around in your chair. Yeah, and I was worried that my wine was going to slide off the glass, but nothing ever did happen. Slide off the glass. Sli <laughs> Ah, one wine and I can't even chat. No, this thing, this one's English, just goes down the drain when she's with me. It does, it really does. Makes me sound like a professional. <laughs> yeah. Number one question to finish off this vlog. Do you think these guys should book a transatlantic cruise? If you don't get seasick, 100%. Yes. If you get seasick, still do it. Just be prepared to use a spew bag. Take a lot of pills. Don't say you people take a lot of pills. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seasickness pills, of course. <laughs> and I would suggest that you definitely do a transatlantic cruise specifically to Greenland and Iceland because I personally just think it's a nice, easy, compact way to visit those unique countries, especially Greenland. That's the only reason we took this cruise in particular. The ship is a little bit on the older and smaller side than we have done in the past, but the itinerary was so unique that we wanted to do it. So a long cruise with a lot of sea days can be worth it. I don't think I could do much longer than two weeks. I feel like I would get a little bit claustrophobic on here and there's only so much you can do. So two weeks was perfect. Like I'm looking forward to hopping on some land in a couple days if that makes yes. sense. If there were more ports, I'd be, I'd be all right to go longer, but too many days at sea in a ship this size. I yeah. Think. If you have any questions at all, please, Find us on Instagram at, at Chloe and Ludwig. Come and say hello, give us a message, leave we'll a comment. Pop it up here. Or yeah, we'll pop it here. Or you can leave a message down below underneath this video. I check this page every single day, so if you leave a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Most importantly, give us a thumbs up. Give us a big ol' thumbs up because we spent this whole entire day filming for you and it took a lot of effort out of this one. Poop. Yeah, he's absolutely pooped. So, make sure you give us a thumbs up specifically for Ludwig's... Ludwig's... <laughs> for his efforts. For whose effort? For Ludwig's efforts. Give him a thumbs up. Actually, that actual most important thing is to what? Subscribe. Bye! Alright. 
fruit punch time. <laughs> like every day. Really? More fruit punch? Yes. Thirsty, I got a soup in the tummy.